Hello, it's me again, Oti from Oti's Cusina. Welcome to the kitchen. Oh my goodness, it's been so cold this past week, okay? But either way, we still get to cook anyhow in the kitchen. Today, I'm still using souk, right? Remember, I used it for the tostones last week. And I'm using it for chicken this week. And so for the chicken, I'm trying two different things, right? I'm going to be um, just using the plain marinade with souk, a little oil ginger and garlic so this is ready to be marinated for about four hours and this i mix with yogurt so this turns out to be like a, a sauce right like the tzatziki uh, greek yogurt sauce so a little bit of greek yogurt some ginger some garlic and some oil and i'm going to be broiling this and baking this broiling this because i want a crispy um texture on the outside so the broiling is basically going to help with the uh, milliard reaction it's going to brown the chicken quickly and then i can cook it at a lower temperature and today is really chicken and pasta if you break it down <laughs> so it's lowest common denominator but the pasta that i'm using today is fregola right so fregola is this uh, toasted italian pasta that is so sweet so nutty it just has this, when you're cooking it, it has this beautiful fragrance. And so it's just about 10 minutes, like you cook regular al dente uh, pasta. And this is what it looks like, cold, uh, ready to go in the fridge for salads. But today I'm going to be serving it warm. And I'm mixing it with a little bit of the zook and capers, as if we haven't had enough of the soup. But this stuff is so good, you can use it on everything, okay? Um, another pasta uh, or combination variety that I use at home a lot because of how quickly you can cook it and the fact that it's you know some of it is whole grains is this mixed harvest grains blend from Trader Joe's. I cook it in a little bit of chicken stock, add a little bit of butter and some salt or bouillon powder and it's ready to go. Okay, so let's take this to the oven. And all the time we're using today is just basically the broiling and the baking time. I'm going to put both at the same time so this can start baking underneath the broiling pan. Okay. So it's done. This is the side that had the yogurt that I broiled. So you can see that browning uh, reaction that I was talking about with the high heat from the broiling. And this is the pot that I baked in the oven. And then in the last minute, I just kind of set it to broil so it could brown it a little bit. So you can see it's not, it's never going to be the same because this comes in at once and chars the meat. And this kind of cooks slowly in its own juices. And this is the fregola right here. And this is the uh, harvest grain blends, which comprises mostly of Israeli pearl couscous. So really, um, some recipes that call for fregola, if you cannot find it, you can use pearl couscous because see, they're about the same size. The only difference is this is machine milled and generally this is hand milled. That's why it has a rougher, uh, closer consistency than this one. Okay, So this is my butterfly, you know, setup with the two ways that you can make chicken with souk uh, uh, sauce, right? Uh, emulsion sauce. And you can serve your pasta with um, vegetables. Here I have tomatoes and green beans, right? So the souk is, remember this is what it looks like. And the idea is you have a little bit more at the table, so if it's not spicy enough for people, they can add some more directly onto the chicken, which is what I have here, okay? So you can do it this way, or um, you can dip it. It all depends on you, okay? So this I already sprinkled over the top, and it's ready to go. So, don't forget to subscribe to the kitchen, to the cuisine on Otis at Otis Cucina on YouTube.com for kitchen hacks and flavorful foods from around the world with, um, you know, different setups, right? Like we had today. And uh, I'll see you in the kitchen next week. I hope you get to try this because once you have the souk, which freezes very well, like you can freeze for as long as three months, you can always bring it out for a quick chicken dinner. And each of these two pasta um, size that I had, 
are actually 10 minutes each literally to cook so all of this comes together pretty quickly okay so until next week for my kitchen tears it's bon appetit bye